Okay, I'm back with another slight design iteration to the garage door bracket. Here is the bracket in its current iteration. And I've got my two screw holes and the hinge. Now this, this prints really well, actually I'm really pleased with it. Um, but one of the things that I decided to do was when, when I was working on, from a previous video, the um, uh, switch, I thought, hey, why don't I apply the same type of idea to that? And then that way it, it's even easier to deal with. Although I had this down pretty good, but. Um, and then I also decided um, to try to make it easier for people to uh, mount. And so this is what I came up with. Um, <clears throat> so it has only one screw hole and there's a reason for it. That should actually not be needed. If your garage door is metal, um, then you should be able to stick this magnet in there, just the included magnet, and uh, you can peel off the uh, adhesive. And that right there will stick to the garage door. I've had mine up for about three weeks now and I've had a couple other people trying them out and they, they've been up the whole time. So what I ended up doing was <clears throat> I started by trying to just uh, bring this magnet portion down and then the support for that to the side and let it hang. But the problem was that even if the magnet was sticking, once this swung out, the, basically this acts as a giant lever arm and so it would pull it off. So what I ended up doing was swapping it around and putting the magnet on the inside so that I would shorten the length of the lever arm and that way it uh, could hold it up. And so I'll go over and show that and, and uh, cut the video together. But basically you, you should just be able to take the bracket, put the magnet and sensor in and just stick it onto the metal. Um, now, if that doesn't work, it still has a decent sized back for um, command strips or uh, whatever, but, and then I have the one screw hole. Um, so if it is metal, it's, but it's just not holding well enough, you can stick the one screw in. Um, or if it's a wood door, what I um, envision is that you actually would put a screw in to the wood and then stick the magnet in and let the magnet stick to the screw and then stick the second screw in through the screw hole to, to hold it straight. So that way um, the magnet would just kind of help hold it uh, straight, but you don't need a second screw hole. So um, that's it and I will go and, and show this. Okay, and so here is the bracket on the garage door. So I'll just go ahead and take that off and you can see I didn't even get all the the adhesive off the back of that one, but um, this is how easy it is to install, ready? Boom. Um, so uh, now that that's on there and when it opens, it will hold it just fine. Um, if it doesn't, then you always have the screw hole to use. So just like with my uh, changes to my uh, switch bracket, I will be posting the uh, STL file um, on Etsy as well uh, as the, to sell the physical brackets. Um, and all, if I come up with another iteration, then I will post this one on uh, Thingiverse. So basically Thingiverse will have anything that is a version behind. So newest stuff will be on Etsy and just previous versions for free on Thingiverse. All right, uh, if you have questions or comments, uh, please let me know and um, hope you like this and share it. And uh, thanks.